Good morning, how you doing? I am, thank you very much. Are you doing all right? I'm part refilming this intro because I didn't have the mic plugged in, but just before our son got admitted to the NICU, so we had a baby in January, mid-January, he was in the NICU for three weeks. He's all fine now, thankfully. But right before that, I'd gotten into a really good swing of sizing all of my work. Any piece of work that I had to do, I sized it so I had an idea of how much time it would take because one thing I really struggle with is being able to, I just see a list of all the things I wanna get done and I think, okay, cool, I'll get all of those done today. And of course I don't get anywhere close to that and I get this kind of like inability to pick which one's the top priority. And you end up finishing every day with this feeling of like, you just haven't accomplished what you wanted to get accomplished. So before we get going, I've already done it, as you can see from the state of my hair, but the next bit you're gonna see is rosemary oil in my hair. <laughs> All of that was with no audio. Brilliant. So because I just make videos about things that I am curious about, things that I enjoy doing, there's this intrinsic pressure, this inside pressure to do all of these ideas now. Mix that with the fact that some of these video ideas can be done in an hour. Some of them take six or seven days and need to be done across those six or seven days. I find myself with so much going on in my mind that it cripples me. But, and I don't, I know I've mentioned this, like the financial aspect of this, and I don't mean it to sound like life's so difficult because it's not, but it is a big driver as to why I do and don't do things at the moment. Okay, we're using quite a lot. And I used, I got massage it. Oh yeah, very oily. But it's a big factor in instead of just doing one thing at a time, I'm trying to do multiple things at a time in an attempt to be more efficient and to like use my time wisely. This is the dumbest thing ever. I saw an interesting video the other day. It was a guy saying that he's like all right with money, but he was hanging out with two of his very wealthy friends. And he said the major difference between him and his friends wasn't so much that they would go and buy anything and everything they wanted. It was that they had this, he used the term agency of choice that where he would think about a pair of running shoes and really think about the financial cost of them versus the use he would get out of them. The people with money, they didn't spend their time making those kind of decisions. They were like, okay, I, need, I want to go running. I need a pair of running shoes. Let's get a pair of running shoes that I want. And so where one guy is spending all this time making a decision, trying to find the right pair, wasting all that time, the wealthy person isn't spending their time thinking about that and they can think about other things that are far more important. That to me is financial freedom. Oh yeah, this was a problem the last time I did this. Because I'd loosened up all my hairs, they all started coming out and I could feel them itching down my neck. Oh wow, it looks really oily now. I may or may not have used too much. Should we go for some curtains for this morning? <sighs> All right, next we're gonna go and make this soap, the detergent, followed by editing the natural toothbrush video from yesterday. And the script I wrote up here was from the recap of dipping my hands in paraffin wax. That video should do really well because the whole series did well. Great, let me go wash my hands, they're a bit greasy. Oh, by the way, I have to give this one to three hours now. Great. You want, you want some water? Yeah. I think it's in your room. Are you done with this? This is the bloody awful part. So get your soap. So we're using the Dr. Bronner's all-in-one hemp lavender pre-castile bar soap. I'm gonna lightly grate it. Ow! Oh yeah, can I have that one please? Thank you, Mr. Helper. So I'm gonna be doubling up the recipe. This part of the process makes me question if it's even worth it. I've had this conversation with my wife. I met this crazy woman in college and now I'm shaving soap for her to make DIY laundry detergent. <laughs> and does she want chickens and a farm? Of course. 
Yeah, and, <laughs> cheese. It's, uh, yeah, it's cheese. And now, Rugi, the recipe calls for two cups of borax, but we're doubling it. So we need four. Four cups. One, two, three. And two cups of washing soda. Was that two cups? I need to go back and watch. Okay, I got one more to do. One cup of baking soda. And then you can add essential oils, but we're not gonna bother with that. So then this is the mix. You just mix it all up. What are you doing back there? You looking for goblins? And you stick it all in a nice aesthetic jar. Oh gosh. Yeah, Ruth? Oh, you want help getting that out? And now you have yourself a happy trad wife. <laughs> yeah. Just let me clear up. Literally just after recording, uh, wife and Rugi brought down a cookie that they'd made. Gorgeous. That's a, that's a TikTok dance. <laughs> Dab. I dip my hand in hot wax for five days to see if it'll help my dry cracking hands because I just can't stand the feeling of greasy hand lotion. And I think my kid's screaming. Yep, he is. <laughs> What's that do that? At the beginning of each day, I test my skin hydration then test again at the end. So on day one, I nicked the crock pot that my wife was using for dinner and that's what I used to melt the wax. I had it on the lowest setting, but it was still way too bloody hot. So I was basically just burning my hand every time I dipped and I had to dip 10 times. As I was messing up every day. Jinkies, why is it getting hotter? You guys were offering me suggestions. Oh, I'm squirting everywhere. <laughs> Some of you were really enjoying it. Like you'd come home from work and watch the video. It was uh, kind of like we were bonding, you know? <laughs> so between dipping my hand in ice bloody water and then putting lotion on first, you were actually teaching me what the paraffin wax was meant to be doing to my skin and how it was meant to help. And I kind of just start doing these things because I'm interested in seeing what happens and then I learn about it on the way. I think that's kind of the fun of doing these side quests. That was all fun, but then I look back and what started as just me dipping my hands in hot wax quickly became stupid Oliver with hobbit sized hands, dipping my hands then into Ziploc bags, into fleece lined sweatpants with hot hands that were in there to try and keep it warm because I didn't have all of the appropriate gear that you need. Anyway, that was a couple of weeks ago. It did end up helping, but they've just gone back to it. And my feet are so bloody awful that I bought a load of different like gel powders to do for my feet. So that'll be the next series. By the way, what you just saw then was me doing a very casual voiceover for the, I guess you understand what the video is, but I'll now use that, cut that down to be just over a minute and then add in a load of footage. Well, I guess you've just seen all the footage over the top. And then I'll make some like more edits to go onto TikTok. And that's that. It's that type of video. Honestly, I could tell the story in a much different way and make it much more dramatic and it would get much more views, many more views. But I just, when you think about Every video you put out is a reflection of who you are. If someone sees that video, they either choose that they like it or they don't like it. If, if you're gonna make something, how do I put this? If the goal is to grow, then you don't wanna be making something that you're not gonna keep doing. So even if you know it's gonna perf perform better, you should want to do it the way you want to keep doing it in the future. It's probably like 800 calories. A right, quick look before the shower. Super greasy on the sides. It feels kind of heavy. I shouldn't have parted it because it hurts my middle of my head now But we're gonna go shower. Let's let's get some eggs This is overturned because it's been flattening out. 
How cool is that? So you stick it on the wall, and then instead of marking the wall where the height is, you just use this. So, should I wipe down the wall with alcohol first, Duda? I think I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. So, of course, first step is to move these off to... Oh, I guess I'd go just mark on here, couldn't I? Don't know why I'm going up so high. Make sure it's all nice and dry, Duda. <laughs> Good guys, okay, just a sneeze. Thank you though. Tell you what, dude. The bottom bit doesn't look easy. Uh, I'm not sure, but I saw this thing earlier. To get something like this off, you just heat it up with a hairdryer first. How the hell am I meant to line this up? Oh my gosh. Maybe this is the way to do it. Should have come with instructions for idiots. Let's see how straight this is. Oh yeah. Show your man is out here getting shit done. Oh, what the f <laughs> Everything's great until you see his beakers hanging off the edge. I <laughs> No, it's a giraffe. It's just his mouth. Adds a nice touch. Yeah, okay. All right, it's a gorgeous day. We're about to finish off uh, kids outside playing. My hair feels so soft. Even my wife said it feels so soft after the rosemary oil and egg wash earlier, but she said she's been picking out bits of egg in it, so that's not great. Finishing up for today. It's been good. The video posted on TikTok, which was the hand wax recap, doing pretty well. That's at 10K in the first hour, so. Should see that one flying. Okay. See you tomorrow.